Hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to start off this video of Clash Without Walls telling y'all that right when you're done watching this, go to twitch.tv forward slash gaming with mole. I'm going to be streaming. I'll be playing on this account. I'll be playing on my main account. I'll be playing on my town hall eight. We're going to be streaming for about three hours. So if you guys watch this two hours after, definitely go over to the stream, check it out, see if I'm still going. I should be at it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to start off with that. Make sure that you guys enjoy this episode of Clash Without Walls. All right. I'll see you guys on the stream. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys today. As always, I really am. I'm really excited to be here with you guys. As you can see, we are on the Town Hall 6. We are on the Clash Without Walls account, and we're doing pretty good. Um, our Wizards, our Mortars, our Archers, and our Cannons are all maxed out. Our Air Defense is done. We have three Builders up. Got a pretty good amount of loot, and I am ready to do some work. Why don't we go ahead and just start off by researching, um, let's research these lightning spells. Alright, so we're just going to research those. Um, that's going to be 500,000. And then let's go ahead and upgrade um, this as well. So we're going to upgrade our air defense to um, level 4. I know that I can also upgrade my clan castle. Now I'm going to need 600,000 gold to do that since we're upgrading the air defense. But... Um, I normally don't request that much on this uh, account because I feel bad because I don't want to be donating like level 3 troops and, and stuff like that um, because people wouldn't really want to use them. So I feel bad, so that's why I'm like, oh look, I wasn't even paying attention. Gym box! Alright, so we're going to remove that gym box as well. Um, but the only gold upgrades we have, I believe after this goes to level 4, that's the highest it can go for Town Hall 6. And we'll have to upgrade it from there. And then next, we need to upgrade our clan castle. But otherwise, that's going to be it for gold besides the collectors. So, um, let's see. All that we're going to have left after this is elixir stuff. So we're going to be able to research our balloons as well as our heal spells. And then we're going to be done with all our researching. We will also be able to upgrade all of our... Uh, army camps, which is going to be a big process because those are all 750,000 each. So the next couple of videos are going to all have um, elixir upgrades in them, uh, besides, of course, the clan castle. But why don't we go ahead and check out, I want to show you all this one replay right here, where this guy attacked me with a pretty good army composition and barely got, uh, he barely got a town hall. So our defense is actually not doing too bad for not having any walls, that's for sure. Um, so as you can see, he's going to just drop off, I'm going to go ahead and just put it at uh, fast forward too. He's going to drop off his barbarians all the way around and they aren't going to be able to do that much. Everything that they attack is still up. He drops off some goblins to go in and do some work, but they get taken out very, very quickly as well. He has some wizards down, and he decides to, uh, once that air defense goes down, you'll see that he drops a balloon, which gets taken out very quickly by the archers in the wizard towers and that bomb right there. And then he drops down um, some more balloons and then a bunch of archers. This balloon is going to get taken out as well by the archers. So next he drops down all these wizards and the healer. And the healer is the key in this that helps this guy stay alive. As you can see, they're taking damage. Um, but once this archer tower goes down, which it will in just a second, then nothing else can do enough damage to combat the uh, healing. As you can see right here, this wizard's getting hit by the wizard tower. And it's just getting healed up to full on every single one. That wizard got taken out. But even the mortar, uh, they can get it down to about half if they hit at the same time. It just can't do enough. So we're just going to fast forward and you'll see that he's just going to take out the town hall. And then he's going to come over here and slowly work on this gold storage as well. But he doesn't even get all of that. So I'm pretty happy with how the defense held up on that one actually. But what we're going to do now is go ahead and just go on the attack. We have full army camps. I believe that is all... Uh, just barch, which is random barch. So let's go ahead. We're going to break our shield, see what we can find, and then we're going to come back and do a couple more upgrades for you guys. Well, for you guys and for me, because I'm super excited to bring this one up to Town Hall 7 and see where we can go from there. This account's been a lot of fun. Um, this one looks pretty good, and it looks like it's all in his, his mines and pumps. So why don't we just go ahead and spread out our barbarians and then we're going to spread out our archers as well all the way around the base that actually isn't a bad um base that that guy has built um it looks like it's 
pretty good. Um, it does look like, however, uh, I'm going to take out this mortar right here with these lightning spells, and then I'm going to drop down my clan castle because my nice clan mates gave me some level 5 wizards that are definitely going to help take this base out. We do need to get into the center now um, because I'm realizing that that's where the majority of the gold is. Hopefully these barbarians will be a good wall for the wizards to come in and do some serious work, please. Okay, good. So a lot of them stayed up. Um, the wizards should be able to take out these buildings pretty quickly, especially once they start working on the walls and we can get in here. There they go. So we are going to take out that archer tower in probably one shot. Yep. And then once we get into the middle, it looks like that mortar is down up at the top as well. I didn't realize that we had this many archers up. Uh, it's very important to spread them out because when you have that, when you have mortars like that causing that much damage, you really need to be able to just hit it from all different sides and only allow it to damage one or two archers at the same time. So this 95%, we're actually going to end up three star in this thing, um, and I think that we might would have been able to do it even without the wizards but thankfully we got those in the clan castle as well and they helped out so that's 90,000 gold for us which is a good amount we have two more builders so why don't we go ahead and upgrade um we'll go ahead and just upgrade this as well it's gonna take six hours uh, i just built these uh those are level seven these are both going up to level six so i'm gonna do both of those and then we're gonna save up the rest of our gold and whatnot now we need to start saving up our gold for upgrading to Town Hall 7 once we get all the Elixir um, stuff done. And of course the Clan Castle as well. But that's pretty much going to be it guys for this video. I hope that y'all enjoyed. Um, <clears throat> definitely make sure that y'all uh, stop by my stream. I'm going to be streaming later on this afternoon at twitch.tv forward slash gaming with molt. So make sure that you do that for me. All right. And uh, thanks for stopping by. I really do appreciate y'all's support. Uh, I'm doing this full time now. It's a lot of fun for me. So all the support I can get from you guys helps. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. And as always, guys, make sure that you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you later.